What's up, YouTube? I'm on a roll today. This is my third in a row that I've recorded. I have a lot of new music coming out, a lot of fun things that I want to share with you guys. Today, I'm showing you guys how I produced the song Worthless by Nothing Nowhere. This one's fun. This one was an interesting way to be a part of this process, and I'll show you guys what I mean by that here in a sec. So the version of this song that I sent sounded a good bit different. I wound up, what happened was I was sending Nothing Nowhere, a bunch of beats for this album, just like sending beat packs, figuring out the vibe that they wanted and just sending a bunch. And what happened was they took one of the beats that I'd sent and then used that as the foundation to build like a full rock song. So what I sent was more like rap beat with guitars and then they fully produced it into like a nothing nowhere song essentially so i'll play a little bit of this beat to show what i'm talking about what it sounded like when i sent it So yeah, that's essentially the gist of it. And you can definitely hear that's like what's going on in the verses of Worthless. Now I'll kind of break through, break down what's going on here. Um, started off from a loop that I made. I used my, you can kind of see it in the background here, my Marshall amp for all of my tones. I have it plugged into a cab sim in my Apollo, like um, Apollo console. I'm using this, um, I use this Shure amp sim and I turn off the amp and I just use the cab IR. Since I'm using a Marshall amp, and also I, I went through and figured out what sounded the best to me, but I'm matching my Marshall amp head with a Marshall cab with green backs in it. And it sounds really nice. That's what the essentially what my tone is um, for this main part here. happening there just want to check so yeah nice mid gain a lot of sustain a lot of like warmth to it kind of like rocky little shoegazy sound and then we have this lead Which sounds kind of crazy. I'm running it through Little Alter Boy, an octave up, just to do some pitch shifting and some weird glitchy artifacts. Without it, it sounded like this. So yeah, same thing as before, just my Marshall amp. I don't think that's any pedals in front of it. Um, just like the amp gain, and I'm double tracking it left and right, hard left and right. Then we have this pad kind of going on the whole time. It's really nice mood setting. Now this is a trick that I do a lot in my production for pads. I sometimes instead of using a synth, I like to make like I like to like sample and like manipulate audio files. So what I did, I'm gonna go to pedal board cam here if I can. <coughs> oh man was on my pedal board, the Boss RV500 right here. Sorry, the, I'm not, I'm not freaking out and turning my phone around. It like doesn't know what is up and down and it does that. But anyways, I use this reverb pedal and it has a freeze function where I'll ring out a note and with reverb on. And then when I hit that far right button, it will capture like that splice of the audio file and just like keep playing it on loop with like an infinite reverb tail and i like to do that 
to um kind of create like a pad with a little more texture or something that like doesn't sound like it's uh it's a pad but it's not a synth you know what i mean like it's does it's not the timbre of a synth it's still even though it's, it doesn't sound like a guitar, kind of makes you think about that. Like, it feels organic. It feels in the same realm as the guitar parts I recorded here. It's fun. I'll just, like, find whatever note I want to ring out on, whether it's, like, a root fifth, some weird chord, something. But, yeah, those are essentially are the three parts going on um, guitar-wise that, that make up this loop that I started with. There's one part that I'm kind of glitching and like chopping up a bit on the rap section, and that is this. Which is that glitched octave up lead, but I'm running it through shaper box and a reverse kind of preset. That way it's just like kind of grabbing different sections, playing them backwards, and a little bit off time. And I thought that was a really cool way to, um, I, I feel like, so juxtaposition is kind of the main idea I had in mind with this beat. Like, when you hear it starting off, you think, oh, it's gonna be like typical rock song or emo rap beat with like the straightforward guitar here. And then when the drums come in, I wanted it to sound totally different and unexpected. So that's what I did. I cut out all of the like guitar sounding guitar and then chopped up this part. So now it's a new section, a new thing going on, similar sounds, but like flipped on its head. It's kind of like taking, it's kind of like I'm sampling within the beat. Like I take this and then I sample it later on. <clears throat> and I love those drums. I love how that hits. I'll go through the drums here too. I took a break from using almost exclusively my kit to use exclusively Taylor Morgan's kit, which is usually what I'm using if I'm not using mine. But we'll go through, we have this 16th note hi-hat thing going on. Oh, whoa, let's see here. Just steady 16th notes the whole time. Slightly pan to the left. I'm running it through this YouTube to MP3 preset on Digitalis. Just to soften it and add a little bit more interest to it. So we got that, we have this clap going on. Nothing crazy, very simple drums. I wanted it to just kind of set the tone. I have this accent snare. An open hat going on here. This 808 going on, which I added some glide to it. So it would kind of like move around a little more, be a little more fluid. It's kind of softer too. It's not too like blown out in your face. A little more chill. And then because it's more chill, I added a kick to it as well. I wanted the kick to hit the same way that the 808 did minus these parts here. I wanted just to be 808 so you feel like the slow attack more. So what I did was I just copied and pasted what was happening on the bass to the kick and then turned off key tracking. That way it would just play the same note of the kick the whole time. Pretty simple. Simple but effective was kind of the kind of the goal here. Very straightforward beat, but like sometimes the straightforward ones are the best and they don't need the weird extra stuff happening. This feels good. It's nice and simple, easy to get a flow on easy to build a song around. From there, I got my beat tag, and then I just have a couple accent things. 
and that's it very simple beat let's see here aside from that we got my chain going on which is just gain just to like make this hit around where it did i wanted my mastering chain to start going where it's just slightly peaking that way this soft clipper can do its job of like grabbing those peaks and kind of making them sound like the soft clips like rap beat sound radiator i have blended in doing the same kind of thing just a different flavor some sue to tame that hat Oxford inflator to do a little more. My limiter. I kind of do more than necessary when it comes to mastering on my beats. Um, but I just like to make the final, I like it to sound as final of a product as possible. And in a case like this, a song happens over it and the artist wants to fully get into mixing it. I just send them the stems unmastered, but I like my beats to sound like a final product. And a lot of times the soft clipping is like part of the sound of my beat. So that's another reason I leave them in. If I turn this all off, it just doesn't hit the same. And like, I don't know, you want it to have that hit. You don't like, I would hate for a good beat to be passed up because the artist hears it, but doesn't hear it to its fullest potential. So that's that's my thought process there. But yeah, that's how I produced my part of Worthless by Nothing Nowhere. That's how I made this beat, my thought process going into it. Super stoked to have another song with Nothing Nowhere. They always turn out so fun. And I'm hopefully, I'm hoping hopefully that this was helpful for you guys. Again, any questions, anything that you want me to answer more in depth, feel free to comment below, DM me on Instagram, anything like that. Happy to show what I've done here. Happy to talk music. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for getting to this far through the video. With that being said, peace out.